Louisville, you rock the fringes, right? Louisville, you're not eating pork no more because that we we we're not gonna get that. But we're gonna we're gonna touch on how you're gonna gain a little bit more wisdom in your walk. You brand new, right? So let's go to Psalms 111 and verse 10. Right? Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna get wisdom by applying the scriptures. That's right. Because a lot of us we hear these things, but it don't mean nothing unless you actually doing it, right? Oh, that's right. Let's get it. Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because you seem like you got wisdom. You fear God. That's why you came out here and you're still here. That's A lot of people, they don't have the measure of fear that you have. Because with breaking God's commandments, there's judgments that come. That's right. We just brought out earlier that destruction is coming to this whole place, to this nation that we live in right here in America, right? Right. What, what the Bible calls Mystery Babylon, right? Destruction is coming to this place. So our fear is that we don't want no part of that, right? So we fear God, right? So the fear of God, that's the very beginning of wisdom, right? Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So a lot of people, they say they want to have wisdom. A lot of people say they want to have understanding, but the scriptures just say you're going to get all of that if you do God's commandments. That's right. If you have a fear of God, right? Read, is that it? And his praise endures forever. So let's see. How do we get the how do we get the wisdom? And let's not, we're not gonna lose the train of thought with the dabbling into the other camps. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 5. This is going, this is our wisdom when we keep the commandments. And the scriptures is gonna back that up. I'm not just making these things up, right? Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Go. Behold, I have taught you statues and judgments. So so the judgment for breaking these commandments, a lot of the times we don't understand that it's death. You can read that in Romans 6 and 23. So God, he gave us commandments and then he gave us judgments, right? Keep reading. Even as the Lord thy God, Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Right. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Because we broke God's commandments. That's why we read earlier that when the other nations walk by, they laugh at us. Like a lot of the other nations, they walk by right now. And they're, they're looking at us like, ah, oh, that's just a bunch of niggas. Right, Reading right. the Bible. Right. <laughs> but this is how we get our wisdom and understanding. Right? right? So now, let's go to Romans 12. Bring it out. We're going to touch a little bit on faith. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. So we want to get wisdom, right? We want to get our faith built up, right? Because you brand new, these are the things you, you gotta pray and ask God for, right? So it says but that faith, it comes by hearing. Hearing what? And hearing he hip hop music, hearing Joel Osteen. Let's see what how do we get our faith built up? How do we get our wisdom, right? And hearing by the word of God. So we get our faith increase by hearing the word of God, right? So now if we go and we listen to everybody that's putting out the word of God, we're gonna have confusion in our minds, right? We're gonna be a little bit unstable in our ways, right? So we wanna, we wanna get wisdom. We don't wanna be unstable in our ways, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna touch on that right now. Give me um, uh, James 1. Yeah. Because we can listen to one, one group of people and they telling us, you don't got to rock the fringes. We can listen to one group of people and they'll say, you don't got to marry that sister. Or another group might say, you, you can have 18 wives. But what we exhorting you to do, you congregating with us, come hear us out. You got to choose one group of people and stick with them. You don't want to be unstable in your way. Right. When you get your faith built up, you don't want your faith to be all rocky and shaky, right? And we're going to get that. James chapter 1 and verse 6. Bring it on. But let him ask in faith, nothing waver. So you got to ask for God for wisdom, right? Read, if you read up, what is it, verse 5? When you read up, this is the things that we should be asking for is wisdom. We just read early in Deuteronomy, um, that's our wisdom is keeping the commandments in the sight of all the other nations. So now when we get our faith increased, when we obtain that wisdom, you don't want to go everywhere for every Tom, Dick, and Harry looking for wisdom, looking for your faith increase, right? Keep reading. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. So ask that faith for God in, in it says in faith. 
in the faith that you're asking God for, you're gonna have teachers that stand before you that's gonna teach you how to keep God's commandments. Yeah, right? That's right. I read it. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. A lot of our people, and I'm not saying you, a lot of our people watch various camps because they say, you know what? I don't want to marry that sister. So I'm gonna go watch this camp and I'm gonna get this from that. And other people say, well, I, I like getting blazed. Because I'm going I'm to I'm talk about myself right now. When I heard the scriptures on defiling your temple, I said, you know what? I got to put the blunts down. That's right. And I stopped. I had a good friend of mine heard the same word. He said, you know what? I'm going to watch everybody because he didn't like that. So a lot of us, when we hear this, we can't be unstable when we get our faith built up. Right. If it comes out and it cuts you, you got to deal with that and work on That's you. That's right. That's what right. we exhorting you to do. I don't know particularly what you're dealing with, and I don't know if this is you. But I'm, all I'm telling you is that you don't want to be unstable. Right. You want your faith built up on solid ground, right? Can you read it? For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Because a lot of our people dabble in confusion. You're not going to get your faith built up if you're listening to everybody. You're going to get right. them. God is not the author of confusion, right? Can you read it? A double-minded man. So you don't want to be double-minded. You don't want to sit at home taking notes with us and people are, are talking evil about us and you're like, well, I'm gonna listen to those teachers and they listen to us. Yeah, That's yeah. unstable, Bring right? Keep reading. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you want to be rooted, grounded in stability. When these trials and tribulations come, because being brand new, you're gonna have three different trials that come your way, right? And two main ones. One main one that's gonna come for you is personal trials. You don't want to go run and say, you know what? I congregated him with them that Sabbath, but I ain't going to go congregate him with again. Because right. I got cut. It didn't sound good. It didn't sound nice. So I'm going to go with these people, right? You want to be rooted. You want to be grounded, right? And not be unstable, right? That's right. That's right. So now let's go to Sirach 2. Let's go to Sirach 2. Let's see because the, these, these things are going to happen. They're going to come. Like, you know a couple of the commandments, right? You need some bare bone basic commandments that you know off the top of the dome. You already knew about the fringes, right? So that's something you gotta work on, bro. You gotta work on finding finding some help when the sun goes down immediately and get the fringes on your garments. Because that's a measure of faith. We read earlier that your faith is gonna get increased, right? What What's keeping you from rocking the fringes? Huh? We got you. We gonna act when the sun go down, you get with us, we gonna help you out. But there are other things. What are some other commandments that you know? Uh, keep the first um, out the birth, anything of your neighbors. Huh? Don't convert anything of your neighbors. Love, Don't love. covet your neighbors. Yeah, convert. Convert anything of your neighbors. Covet, all right. Uh, um, love our brothers. Talking about brothers. I mean, not the other neighbors. Love your brothers as you, as you love yourself? Yeah. All right, what else you got? If it was a murder, um, murder in the city, um, in, in a certain city, and nobody don't know who did it, then they need to bring the judges, I guess, to bring everybody. So, there. so we're gonna we're gonna um go to some hold that go to Sirach five and seven. So we're gonna expound on some of the things that you know, and we're gonna give you a better understanding. Some of those very same things that you just said, all right? So what? Right. Hold on. As we bring it out, though, you got you got to apply these things, all right? You got to. Right. The most important thing, like we didn't, we didn't come out here just to read the Bible. Right. We came out here to see change amongst that's, our people. That's right. That's right. So you gotta put it in application, right? Because you see, not and it's not just black people who you would call black. It's all the twelve tribes. A that's lot of right. us, we procrastinators. We put it off from day to day. The things that we know that we should do. Like the brother was here earlier, and we asked him what sin is, and he said sin is things that you know you're not supposed to be doing. So a lot of us, things that we know we should be doing and things that we know we not, we not supposed to be doing, we put it off. We procrastinate, right? But you, you got to put it in application, right? Read right. what you got. So Rob, chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. So it says to make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Like, like you, you're hearkening. So these things that, that we're bringing out to help you become, a, to help you in your walk, right? To make you perfect according to the scriptures, Got to put it in application. So it said make no tarrying. When it says make no tarrying, right, it means like to hurry up and, and make it happen. That's why I'm saying when the sun goes, as soon as you possibly can, 
get the fringes, right? Keep right. it. And put not off from day to day. Like I was saying earlier, a lot of our people, we procrastinate. We put it, we say, ah, I'm gonna do it later. Cause we think we have the next day. But the next day, it might not be in line for you That's on your schedule. Right. Right. The right. next day might never come. You might die. Right. right. Keep reading. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. So as, as we're bringing it out to you, hey, brother, don't smoke those Newports. You're going to die. A lot of our people, they say, well, I'm not going to die. Or we all die. It says the wrath of when you think you're chilling, when you good, it says the wrath of the Lord is going to come through. Right? What else? And then thy security. When you think you good, you post it up, you got the lawn chair, your key picked up, you got the you got that lemonade, you relax. That, it says the wrath of the Lord is gonna come. And what's gonna happen? Thou shalt be destroyed. And you're gonna get destroyed, right? And perish in the day of vengeance. So now let's go to Sirach 2 and 1. Sirach 2 and 1. These are things that's gonna help you out and strengthen you. Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My my son, if I come to serve the Lord. So this is you, you're entering your walk, you're serving the Lord, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. You gotta prepare yourself for, for temptation because having having the fringes on is, is actually, having the fringes on is actually a defense That's against right. temptation. That's right. How you gonna look if you walk in a strip club with the fringes on? How you gonna look committing wickedness with the fringes on? We just read earlier that as you wear the fringes, you look down on them and you say, nah, I'm not supposed to do that. This is defense to prepare yourself against the evils that come. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.